Yeah. <laughs> so that's where I come from, you know. When I would tell him the story, he would look at me like, going, I respect you a lot, but what are you talking about? <laughs> so I can't expect him to understand this is that generation, but mm -hmm. a lot of compassion he had for me, you know. And he always told me, you know, I respect you a lot. Then my mom tells me, Juan Carlos, <laughs> so that's where we are, you know, pretty much it's the music, you know. I never ever thought that I would be doing this. I never even thought about it. And every day that the level gets heavier and heavier. Now I'm supposed to go to Europe soon. And you know, it's like wow, they invited me to come to Europe. This is this is great again. I've been to Europe before but now it's different now. Now they're asking. Uh -huh. to come. Before we were asking, hey, can we come to this festival? But now they're ask, actually asking me to come. And that's a lot, it's a lot different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Anima. Yeah, that's good. And you got, you got uh, new music coming out? Yeah, have a new album. It's called Rasta is King. Because um, Rasta is King. And so it's, it's the third chapter in the book of Revelations. I have a, I have a vision. Get it? <laughs> and it's seven chapters. It's seven chapters. And they're all called the Book of Revelations. And we're trying to reveal the story. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to take seven chapters. So this is chapter three. I got to go f a little faster though. Because the, the, the money issue is hard to record when it's coming out of your own pocket. You know? mm -hmm. And people see me, they see my artwork, and they, they figure there's a big company behind me. <laughs> the only company behind me is... Haile Selassie, and as we know, the Haile Selassie doesn't, it's not a money thing, you know, so we, we work, and we work, and we work, although he's the king of kings and the richest man on earth, but it's not a money thing, you know, mm -hmm. he's rich with wisdom, and sabiduría, sabiduría, that's the key, it weighs, outweighs the gold any day, because <laughs> the gold you have it and you have to leave it, and you can't bring it to the next time you come, mm -hmm. but this you bring it the next time. The last time I was here, I used to mess up and mess up. Maybe you get better the next time around. So that's why you don't bring nothing in. You cure yourself before you go meet the big man or the big woman. So it depends on. It depends on. You're getting po politically correct here. Yeah, because you know, in this day and age, you know. But in Egypt, you know, the woman used to tell the king what to do. It's, it's the macho lineum system that has changed the European system where the woman is, you know, the, the dog and the man, you know, but it's not like that, you know. That's why behind every man is a great woman. That's, that's in my house or something. Yeah, you're lucky. That's how you have to do it. <laughs> what happens is, that it works here, what happens is in the West and in, in the United States, uh, the, they're losing that and it's, it's they're taking over and the man is becoming like a runs the show now over there big time uh -huh. there should be a kind of a balance you know yeah it's gotta be balanced it's gotta be balanced like Haile Selassie had his queen and you know Jesus had Mary Magdalene yeah mm -hmm. uh, it was his girl <laughs> just meet her his girl he had a girl didn't he he was a cool dude why he wasn't he? a bird why shouldn't he yeah you know, he's a cool dude you know He's a rock star, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ, superstar. Uh, yeah, he's a superstar. And truly he was, you know? He was a cool dude. Very humble and everyone dug him, man. Mm -hmm. Except for the the people who que no le convenía, you know? Yeah. And vino seeing MasterCard. Mm -hmm. Seeing American Express. But the people that he confronted, you know? Oh, you know that story, I'm not going to tell you that story. <laughs> we know that story, but there's a new story in the rise, and that story is about Rastafari. It's Haile Selassie. That's the story that we you know, have to focus. So what I tell your cable is to, when you get home and you see this, if you remember what I'm going to tell you right now, you get on your web, you put on YouTube, and you put Haile Selassie still lives, or Haile Selassie still alive. You write it, and you press search. And it's going to come up and you see a brand new picture of Haile Selassie. Oh, yeah? He has a new name. He's 118 years old right now. His name is Abakabus. He's no longer the material, like, the physical king of Ethiopia. He's still the king of the world. 
but now he's in the mountains in Ethiopia and he's alive and there's a picture of him brand new so when you go to this website you're gonna see him and those who know him and those who revere him and those who recognize him will know that that is him but no longer his kingly character he is now a saint he's an angel and he dwells amongst in this sanctuary with other angels and you're gonna see this picture he throw at his side <laughs> at his side pedal big time brother man oh yeah and like I said if you know Fire Selassie and you know what he looks like you're gonna say yeah because you can't kill this this spirit uh -huh. he disappeared in 74 we the Rasta know that you can't destroy this spirit we know that so to see this now oye oye estamos haciendo una entrevista aquí it's in my house my house is my primo but um yeah man because he said that he would come he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day mm -hmm. so someone disappears he knows about disappearing because in 1935 when the italian in, the italians invaded ethiopia he disappeared he, disappeared he didn't ethiopia. run away but he had to yeah. why to so come back and fight again and fight live again another day and then to 1974 where they came again the pirates came in to get him again and he disappeared and they made a, a funeral a funeral and he didn't die but they made it up to let the world think that we got him there's no more Jesus there's no more Raina Judah it's over mm -hmm. it's not over he who fights runs away to fight mm -hmm. so now when you go on the web and you see behold the Lion of Judah still alive Haile Selassie still lives you're gonna see a picture of Abakabus in his new vibe and you gotta get it he saw my brother you haven't seen it? No, no. Oh my gosh. And you're gonna put that on your website. And it wasn't me. I'm just the one telling you, just like once upon a time, Bob Marley told us about in the beginning. Uh -huh. It's new time and not everyone knows this. So I found out. So it's my job to tell everyone. I'm gonna tell it on the mountain, you know? Yeah. You gotta yeah. tell it because it's there. And it's my job. He made himself seen in his picture. There's a picture of him in Ethiopia where he made himself visible so that his children can see that he is still here. Because we have faith and we have confianza, can okay, see, mm -hmm. you know, he's still. But to see that picture, he's like going, yeah. <laughs> my rest, all right. Ahí está, ahí está. That's undeniable. And that's right now, right now. Because as we know, the 2012 is, is the day of judgment. Day of judgment. And we're right here. We're on the cusp. Babylon tried to scare us in the 2000, but that's the Babylonian calendar. We're dealing with the Rasta calendar. And Rasta is Rasta. Rasta is the beginning of time, it's God's story. In the beginning, so shall it be in the end. So if the story began in Ethiopia, it must end in Ethiopia. The Alpha, the Omega, the completion, the full circle. And Alice is still walking. Still walking.